Delegates, uh, this is always a special time in our representative assembly uh, to uh, pause for a moment and celebrate those people throughout this country who uh, not only have the core values that we have as, a, as an organization, but that we believe are lifting up the work that is absolutely essential and core to our mission. It is time now for the presentation of this organization's highest honor, the NEA Friend of Education Award. Yeah. This award recognizes a person, organization, or group whose leadership, acts, and supports have contributed to the improvement of American education. This year's honoree is the incomparable Dolly Parton. Yeah. Throughout her amazing career, career, the world has watched her shine on stages and movie sets. However, she's approached her uh, philanthropic efforts with a quiet dedication and commitment to do what's right for our children and for adults and for communities. She has created programs to decrease the dropout rate and to increase literacy. She's donated millions of books to children around the world. Yes. Extraordinary work. Her Dollywood Foundation has also funded scholarships for students and for her employees to further their education and live their dreams. Yeah. Delegates, I present Ms. Dolly Parton, who is accepting this award from Tennessee. Of course, we know she is from the great state of Tennessee. Let us listen. Lama, Lama, What Dolly Parton's uh, Imagination Library does, and I get excited when I think about it because it allows young people from birth to start receiving and having books in their homes. The idea behind the program is to inspire a love of reading and a love of books by gifting a book through the mail in the child's name each month from literally the day they're born until the month that they turn five. The books had to be new, um, that there had to be lots of them, and that the program had to feel more like a gift than a charity or a social service. Mama, red pajama feels alone without his mama. I kind of do this for my own personal benefit. Is I This is the last one they receive in the Imagination Library. And I'll say on the first day of school, oh my goodness, I want to share with you one of my favorite books. And I can tell the kiddos, I have that book. My mommy read it last night. And you can tell, and it's so cool to see because you'll see kiddos that come from a gated community. You'll see kiddos that come in government housing, but they all have access to the same book. So like they start off kindergarten feeling like they are on even playing field because they all know this story. Anybody think any other describing words? Taylor? Because he was pitching a fit. He was totally pitching a fit. Um, some background on our community educationally is we had a library until the early 2000s sponsored by the County Library Association and then when that pulled out of Ceylon it really left a void here that we just were never able to fill and that seems crazy in today's world who doesn't have access to books will come to a place like Ceylon. There's no libraries here, there's no stores here. I uh, kind of we use the term educational desert. It's really, I get kind of emotional because for us it matters. 
I'm sorry. I mean, it matters to us. What we this is something we need here because without it, there's kids that aren't going to get books. It just makes me so emotional when I think of um, the impact this has on these kids. I mean, it's just truly uh, it's changing lives. It's changing lives, and there's not enough thank yous in the world for Dolly Parton and this foundation and everything that they've done to, to make this a reality. I just Every day I pray that I can do something to uplift mankind and to glorify God. And so I think through the work that I do, that's, that's my whole mission in life. So whether it's the Imagination Library, which I'm as proud of as anything I've ever done, or whether it's songs I write or whether it's shows I do, I want to make people feel good about themselves and just feel good, period. And I want them to feel good about me. Well, hello there, educators. This is Dolly Parton, and I want to thank you for giving me the NEA's Friend of Education Award. What a special honor. Now, I know how hard each of you work to help every student succeed, and I'm working to do my part as well. Now, as you may know, my foundation offers college scholarships for local high school students, and I am thrilled that our theme park, Dollywood, now is covering college tuition and expenses for employees. But I may be most excited about my Imagination Library that is now gifting over two million books each month to inspire a love of reading in children from birth to age five. Now, I created the Imagination Library over 26 years ago in honor of my dad, who never had the opportunity to learn to read and write. And he lived long enough to see the program really growing, and he told me that he was prouder of me for that than just about anything I'd ever done. Now, I never imagined we'd be gifting over 180 million books. I think that's amazing, don't you? So, on behalf of my team and all of our local partners to make the Imagination Library possible, I'm happy to accept this wonderful award. And most important, I want to take this opportunity to thank you so much for all that you do. Together, let's continue to inspire kids to dream more, care more, learn more, and therefore, be more. And remember that I will always love you. Thank you. It's over 180 million books. Did you hear that? Isn't that amazing? Oh my goodness. What an incredible uh, treat. She'll always love us, right? Yeah, I would sing for you right now, but I won't. Um, you know, I, I want to say this to you delegates. You know, when we present these awards, of course, we work to uh, try to get our friends of, friends of education here. They're not always able to change their schedules to do that. But I, I need to tell you that it was just such a pleasure working with Ms. Parton and her team. They were incredible. They really were. Um, they, uh, she so wanted to be here. She really, really did to be with you in person, but she just couldn't make the adjustment. But um, uh, she uh, gave us access and, and uh, worked with us, answered all our questions. She was exactly who you see, that loving, caring, kind person. Yeah, that's who she is. And I would say to you, based on the experience that we've had, that that's because her dedication to children is unwavering. And the fact that you, the educators from all over this country, do the work you do, she wanted to make sure that she shared with you how much she loved you. And I want to share with you how much we loved her and what she is doing for our students and for you. So give it up again for our friend of education.